Creating a form for your tulpa and visualizing it might be easy and innate to you, or it could be very difficult, or anything in between. First, I'm going to go over creating a form for your tulpa, then provide some words of advice on general visualization. I recommend giving your tulpa a form to start with. If they don't like it, they can change it later with no harm done. If they do, then it will be something you're already comfortable with and would appreciate them keeping. That said, a form is ultimately just an illusion. Your tulpa is, at its core, just a personality and a voice, and technically does not need a visualized form at all. However, they can best express themselves through a body, and your mind is likely to form connections related to your tulpa being a person if it has a visual form to identify the tulpa with. The form can be relatively simple or incredibly complex, depending on what you choose. My recommendation is to take a few hours to sculpt it in your mind, going from the simplest shapes to a detailed and complete representation of your tulpa's body. Make sure to incorporate shading and texture elements, and test these elements by placing the form in different lighting and environments. Finally, you should attempt to animate the form and see how it looks when moving. The more detailed and clear your picture is now, the easier it will be to visualize and maintain visualization of your tulpa later. Practice seeing with the mind's eye, practice seeing your tulpa, and practice visualizing interactions with them should be enough to alleviate all your worries. Even if you can barely visualize at all, your main course of action should probably be to just focus on what you can visualize and build your skills from there. And don't worry if your tulpa is blurry, hard to picture, or less detailed than you think it should be. This doesn't really matter that much, but through practice and regular forcing, you should be able to improve anyway.